All right, so after that treacherous climb up the volcano, we have made our way down to Pompeii. We got this little audio book, audio um, guide for eight euros. And our tickets to get in here actually cost three euros 50 each, which is super cheap. As you can see, the ruins have already started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my ear and then I will listen to it while I vlog, but I'm not going to vlog this continuously. I'm going to vlog it in pieces because this place is just simply too big. So when I get the information, I'll say it to you guys because I know nothing about this place. So see you guys when it gets more interesting. Okay guys, so after figuring out this thing, after Nadia helped me, we made it to the entrance. Quadri porti ki ko ki papu de teatri. Check it out. Wow. Okay, can you tell me the number? Two. Two. Let's put it on. Uh, how did you make this thing work? Okay. Two. Vesuvius. So it never had the typical appearance as a volcano back in this time. Its summit was flat and covered with vegetation, vegetable gardens and vineyards. It did not have a threatening appearance and the inhabitants didn't even imagine that it was a dormant volcano. So you can imagine back in the days, some old Koskin, Oskin or Roman would be standing there performing his song or show, whatever they would do. 8,000 people could sit here. 8,000 people could fit in here. Wow, that's impressive. What is this? You know what? It's actually um, oh, it's actually much bigger than I expected. When I heard of Pompeii, I always thought of it as just the um, mummified people. It's it's, uh, it's actually pretty impressive. Take a look at that. And what's even more uh, bombastic is the fact that the Vesuvius is just towering over this place. It's so. Uh, so sinister in a way, you know. You can imagine being uh, one of the inhabitants of this time. This would have been one of your houses. This is where they would have slept and done their cooking, their eating, their living. Until that big boy over there decided to wipe them all out. Wow, take a look down there. Amazing. Should we get a thumbnail? Look at the uh, intricate tiling there. And the walls. You can definitely say that they had a good time and a good uh, way of life, yeah? It looks like a jacuzzi or a bath right there. Right, all right, all right. We made it to the amphitheater. Hopefully we can get inside so we can have a quick squeeze of what it looks like in there. Maybe here. Yes. So this um, amphitheater was built the same year that the Vesuvio exploded. What a waste. Um, Another thing that Nadia just told me is that the foundation is six is about six meters deep and that the materials that they built it with built it with was from they recycled it from the walls walls of the city. So wow wow we wow. 
Holy moly. I don't even know I don't even know what to say right now, it's just uh taking it all in. Wow, I didn't expect it to be so huge. Look at all the old old seats. The lower part was for the high for the richer uh, people. Spectators, okay. No, no, the lower one. Ah, the lower one was yeah. for the richer people. And then okay. The, the medium one was like for ordinary people. Okay. And the last ring, which was the one where you had like a. Had to stand. You had what? to stand, and it was all for women who could finally meet, uh, go out for like public events. And uh huh. Okay. And do you know what they hosted here exactly? Uh, fights. Fights. So gladiator events and such. Wow. Are we even allowed to be standing inside here? Yeah, it's open. <laughs> How come no one's here? What do you guys think? Do you like it? <sighs> you're standing in the shade. You, you're hot, huh? Yeah. I'm, I'm still gonna get sunburnt like a, like a lobster. Blondie gets burnt easily. Wow. Mensa sana in corpore sana. Mensa sana in corpore sana. <laughs> she said it better. As the Romans used to say, healthy mind, healthy body. Over here we have the gym. Check it out. This is where they used to work out and train before they entered the battlefields or the amphitheater. For the young athletes. For the young athletes. I wonder if they were doing uh, deadlifts over here like Mr. Blondie. I wonder if they had uh, bench press, bench press stations and bicep curl stations and free weights it's a good question I wonder what they were doing here were they just running around or were they training jiu-jitsu were they doing MMA kickboxing it's a hectare and a half it's a hectare and a half wow because back then it was very important to have like fit young people yeah warriors it was important to have warriors to keep your civilization strong and healthy take over the rest of the world like the Romans tried to do there you can see the amphitheater I wonder what was here and holy smokes it is warm it reminds me of South Africa the days when we used to play on the rugby field at school when I was growing up this is this is about how it feels this room this brings me back to uh, Primary school days, <laughs> yeah. We had this type of uh, a upbringing. Different heights, like from one meter to two heights. This was a swimming pool. Yeah, three, two meters and a half. Wow. Yeah. It's like a swimming pool, like what we would have today. Yeah, exactly. Amazing. And while they had like fights over there or like spectacles, this was used as a resting area for the spectators. Wow. Flip, I, just if I could become like a, uh, a fly on the wall and travel back in time and just see these things like happening, you know, that I think that's what, out of all the mag magic powers I would wish for, I think that would be the first one to go back in time. And I'll definitely come to this time. Let's have a look. So this is where the richer people of Pompeii lived, I'm presuming. Let's enter the villa, the villas. Hope you guys appreciate this. This is a first-hand experience of Pompeii. POV, as some of you should know. It's sort of all been filled with water, as you guys can imagine. Okay guys, I'm going to uh, cut the camera here so that we can enjoy it and take it in and then I will see you guys at the next step. Alright, um, I hope the wind is okay with the audio but we have just got into the place um, where we will see the first bunch of uh, bodies, people. Take a look. Wow. That's unbelievable, eh? 
Let me get some info. He's a child. Man, this is just uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, the people were very small in those days. If you look at the doors and the door frames, they're all very short. This uh, big blondie can't get through there that easily. The little Romans, they weren't as big as uh, they depict in the movies. Always depict them to be these huge, big people. Okay, okay, you have the match. Yeah. Got the old pottery. Because they told me around here, there are the body here. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes, just right there. Oh, it's there outside? Yes, yeah, just go straight. Steps. Follow the path. Oh, okay, perfect. Left or right? Yeah. Well, just follow the path left. Yes. Okay, perfect. Go we'll see. Okay. Go it's a big building. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you, guys. No worries. Oh, far. Nice columns. Man, these stairs are. Jesus. There's an arrow here saying go. So let's just go. They never made the uh, the entrance is very uh, possible now, did they? Oh, thanks for helping me. <laughs> you just leave me here to fend for myself. Let's go. That's how it is. A man always helps a woman, and this is what you get in return. I'd really like some water or some rain right now. It's hot. I'm wearing a black t-shirt on top of it and uh, Mr. Pinky here, Mr. Pinky boy, can't handle the heat. Can't handle the dry weather. He needs some water. It's so hot. I keep on thinking about the fountains and all the water they must have had here. Oh man. Anyways, this is gonna carry on for a long time. Hopefully I can get a fountain or something to drink something. That would be very nice. I would really like this. Ah, uh, Albino boy is in the shade. Pinky. Pinky! I think that'll be my new, new nickname. Pinky. No wait, my new nickname. My Italian, my Roman nickname from now on will be Corrado. Corrado. That's the Italian version of Kurt. Corrado. And the Italian version of my name, uh, my surname is Muratore. So, Corrado Muratore. This is my new name in Italy. The house of the family of the second wife of Neron, one of the most luxurious families in the Roman Empire. Wow. This is probably like a bath, of course. Built 2,300 years ago. 2,300 years ago it was built. Wow. That's impressive. Check out the fine detail. I wonder if there's restoration or original. <laughs> Wow. Makes a lot of sense. I have to wear a mask in an open area like this. I have to wear a mask. Makes sense. Oh, check it out. And the mask is coming off. And those people in front of me did not wear their masks. So that lady just told me to put on my mask, but everyone else doesn't have their mask. With different These private bars. They all have different temperatures. Yeah. 
So this would have been a bath, for example. Whoa. As you can see, the doors are really small. These doors were not made for Blondie Corrado Muratores like myself. Where are you going? So this would have been a bath, you say? No, that part. Oh, that part. What would this have been? A room or? That was a wine cellar. Okay. Interessant. And this base is uh -huh. I see. That explains the pottery here. Wow. So the uh, Romans were super innovative. If you check the design of the road, it's basically the same principle of what we have based our roads off in modern uh, society. The walkways and the road where the traffic would go up and down. The horse wagons, donkey wagons, ox wagons and so forth. And this was over 2000 years ago. If you think about it, if you think about it, that's pretty crazy. What is this? Thermal? Thermal bars. Oh. Take a look at this. Most ancient thermal bars in the city. Okay. So what would they do here in the thermal bars? That's me. Okay. They are like 2,400 years old. Well, this whole thing is just simply too big to film all of it. That's the reason I'll be cutting up a lot of this video and making it short, shorter. Um, is, this a, is this a tap? Has Kurt struck gold? What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christi. I'm... Uh, I don't know how much longer I can stand the, stand the sun. I'm slowly turning into a uh, boiled potato. Oh, mamma mia. So this must have been the center then, you're saying? That guy over there is responsible for all of this. I don't remember where it's really cheap. 40. Where did you... Super hot here. Maybe they got a fountain. Oh, I'd hope so. Fountain? No fountain. Fountain? Any fountain? Anybody see a fountain? Holy moly. I see a big, uh, another big sculpture there. Do you see it? Big statue. Let's go see what that's about. That looks super interesting. I need to, I need to take, uh, take a squiz there. Look at this. Wow. Amazing. It's the old columns. This place was totally and utterly destroyed by that volcano. It just got smashed. Look at that. How do we get to see this guy over here? I don't know if you can see him across there. I have a little uh, wonder about here. Let's sit on a, let's sit on a uh, little stool that they would have sat on. Cool, let's carry on. Take a look at this. I 
I don't think I'm allowed to be walking around here, but Corrado Moratore is doing it anyways. If we can go through here before one of the guards catch me. Let's ask. Excuse me, do you speak English? Literally. The bodies are over here. Oh, there they are. Nadia, they're right here. Yeah, just next. Oh, wow. Okay, thanks. Okay, well, holy moly, I did, didn't see that coming. Oh my goodness. What is that thing? Is that a dog? Looks like a crocodile. monster or crocodile or something. So, um, you guys have seen it all. You saw the bodies, the amphitheater the gym, the town, all the villas, uh, that's all we saw basically, this place is huge, it's definitely worth it to come check it out, I'm such a noob when it comes to history, I have a tap, <gasps> oh my goodness, Ah, oh. ah, oh, that was the best water I've ever had in my life. Ah, oh. 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 Finally. <sighs> Much better. Nari! Nari! Is it tapia? Yeah, this is, was the house of a merchant. Okay. And uh, there was actually a shop and you could understand that because there are two doors. Okay. And um, it was called like this just because in one of the rooms they found this um, a painting of a, po a poet yeah of a um, written by a it was about a story written by a poet and this in latin means beware of the dog yeah exactly take a look at this oh, casa del farno no? wow beautiful flowers I just wanted to show you the front of the statue of the man himself, Apollo, and this nice little view here. I will end it, I will end the video with a nice thumbnail. So, see you guys from your favorite gladiator, Corrado Muratore, from Pompeii.